5.7b Changes to Land In this activity, students use a dripping water bottle and a straw to create landforms on wet and dry sand, thereby simulating the erosion process of water and wind. Prepare the following items in advance for each group in your class. Two large aluminum trays, an object to prop the tray up on one end, construction paper, a water dripper and a nail, approximately four cups of moist sand, goggles, a straw, and one cup of dry sand. Let's first explore the effect of water on land. In advance, fill a bottle with water and secure the cap. Use a nail to make three small holes in the bottle cap. You may need a hammer to create the holes. Next, add several cups of wet sand to one side of an aluminum tray and neatly compact to form a mountain. Instruct students to draw their sand mountain in their journals. To create deltas and canyons, hold the water bottle above the sand and slowly release the flow of water onto the mound. Ask your class to describe the effect water has on the sand and record the resulting formations. Wind on land. For the next part of the exercise, students must wear goggles. To simulate the effect of wind on land, spread sand over the bottom of the second aluminum tray. Place or hold a piece of construction paper against the back of the tray to prevent sand from blowing beyond the container. Use a straw to create a breeze and blow air side to side to scatter the sand. Repeat as necessary and record the observations. <laughs>